before 9am and we are all up, showered, dressed, ready for another exciting, I'm so blurry, for another exciting day in New York. Today I am so excited for, we're actually going on kind of a touristy type day. We're going to visit the Statue of Liberty, which, oh my god, who doesn't know about the Statue of Liberty? It's one of those things that I've wanted to see in real life always and I think it's going to be very 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 exciting I'm not sure what else we're doing today but <coughs> excuse me Chris has got a plan he's just checking out with the lady at the desk just there on what tube and things we need to get where we need to go just to make sure we don't get lost pretty easy by the way a few people have asked about what hotel we're staying in and where it's near so we're staying in Manhattan our hotels right near Central Station and <coughs> It's very, very pretty. Here's the reception area as you walk in. I know, the girls absolutely love these flying people, dangling people, they look so cool. And then you have the lift here up to your room. Also, when you stay at this hotel, there's a little drinks and snack area just here at the side of reception. And each room actually gets a free $10 to spend in there per day of their stay. Where's Daddy gone? Oh, it's in the fire. Yeah, each each hotel room gets a free $10 to, to spend in there each night of their stay. So it's great when you come back to your room in the evening and you just fancy like a quick drink before going up to your hotel room or taking a drink up there. So this is the outside of the hotel and it is called 50 NYC. It's an Affinia hotel and I'd really recommend it. It's very close to a tube station very close to some very tall looking buildings and the rooms are fantastic for bigger families too so it sleeps five really spacious got a kitchen got a bathroom i've just realized we haven't done a room tour yet so i'll do that later on when we get back to the room anyway are you girls looking forward to a good day yeah <laughs> yeah that's what that was like <laughs> we have you we're all up a little early again this morning. Are you excited for the, today, Isabel? What's yeah. that, darling? Yes. What's that dance? Yeah. <laughs> Your hair looks very cool this know, morning. Like... She did have a high ponytail, and then she I got a bobble and went a bit crazy. Know, it, was like, it looks a bit puffy. Oh, like... you're there. I thought he was inside. I've okay. Just how to use the subway properly, like uptown and downtown and midtown. I know what it's all about now, so we're not going to get lost anymore. Brilliant. Yay. That makes me happy. Very happy. <laughs> Do you know where we're going this morning? Yeah, just about. Ready to go? Let's go. All right, guys, I want to know, what is it that makes you want to fall forward when you step onto a non-moving escalator like this? Like what? What when I get off? Okay, so we or what happens? Uh, no, because be, it'll be too fake now, Isabel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll be fake now, sweetheart. But, yeah, what, what makes you want to fall forward like when you step off of an escalator that's not moving as well? It's like a weird subconscious thing. It happens it's every like, single time. I think it's because your brain thinks it's going to happen. So then you feel it's going to happen. Yeah, and then it doesn't. Yeah. So but I don't get it because you can see the escalator's not moving when you're walking up to it. So surely your brain adjusts to it being just like a normal step. I don't know. Anyway. Whoa. We just got off the subway at Bowling Green. We're just about to go and catch Whoa, a ferry to see the Statue of Liberty. I'm very, very excited right now. Whoa. This place is a little bit, a little bit large. <laughs> Massive. I've just seen the Statue of Liberty and I was the first one to see it out of our little family. Oh I yeah. Very, very excited about that. It looks it's incredible. Jumping. It's miles away still. It's absolutely miles away. But I don't know if you guys will be able to see it through the, the trees. There she is. Just behind the trees. It's, it's not the Statue of Liberty. I'm going to show you something right now. Oh dear. It's the Statue of Contributi. Are you ready for this, guys? Okay. Contributi. You ready? Katrina. Katrina sent me that. She said, now when you go see the Statue of Liberty, you won't be able to think of anything else other than the Statue of Contributi. And I actually can't. I've been saying it all morning in my head. <laughs> it's Auntie Katrina. Yay, Katrina. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably cut that bit out, guys. <laughs> so this bad boy doing? Look at him. He's like, yeah. 
I'm gonna take that from you, man. <laughs> yeah, squirrels in New York are brave. Yeah, you've got an army of, you've got a posse of pigeons behind you coming in for the kill as well. <laughs> Look at them, they're coming, they're circling the swarming island, they're gonna have you. Oh. Oh my god, we get swarmed. Look how cute that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back up. Look at me, I hit this. <laughs> what? <laughs> here we go. What's up, man? These pigeons are going to have Isla. Good girl. Yay. Clever girl. Woo. Okay, so we just picked up our Statue of Liberty and Alice Island tickets. <laughs> we did, nice we did. Family. And we're just about to join the massive queue. Like the queue's very big. So yeah, we've got to wait in this pretty big queue for a bit till we get to over there. Yeah, it doesn't take that long. Or we've got some security screening and then we'll be on the ferry over to the Statue of Liberty. Hello. <laughs> there she is. Looking very beautiful right now. So we just boarded the ferry right now. We're gonna head over towards the statue and get off. Get a little walk around, get some pictures, and have a good look around before heading over to Ellis Island and seeing the museum over there as well. All right guys, so we just got off the ferry onto Liberty Island and I'm blown away. Absolutely blown away, check this out. So, on the right hand side we've got the Statue of Liberty, we're going to go over there in a minute and have a proper look and then just to the left in front of us we've got the One World Trade Centre which looks absolutely incredible. Okay, so we've got the very beautiful Statue of Liberty right above us. No, we're not talking about that anymore Isabel. Oh my gosh, it's so cold then. And then you pan 180 degrees round and you've got the Brooklyn Bridge on the horizon. Now tell me that that doesn't look absolutely amazing. It is so cool. Okay, time to get some selfies. New York's really not very good for my neck posture because I'm constantly walking around like this like Yo! I mean, look! Look at that building! It's like... What?! <laughs> oh, it's incredible, like everywhere. Anyway guys, we're just off the ferry from Liberty Island and Ellis Island. We had a really, really cool time having a look at all the monuments there, the museum there, and the Statue of Liberty. It was really, really amazing. In fact, it was, it was mind-blowing. Everywhere on here we go is mind-blowing. It was just, it was incredible. So we're just very cold, we're all very hungry, it's just coming up to 1pm, so it's still nice and early in the day. We're going to go venture now and find somewhere nice to sit inside and have some hot food because, like I said, we're all starving. And then we're going to be heading up towards, I think we're going to go see Wall Street today, we're going to go see the 9-11 Memorial today, and the 9-11 Memorial Museum as well. I want to see that both in the daytime and at night time. So hopefully with the timing, we're going to be able to do both of them today, which will be really, really, really good. So we all just refreshed up with a nice sandwich, baguette and some drinks and now we're heading on to the 9-11 Memorial Museum. Oh my goodness, don't you think the days seem to last forever here? Yeah, it's Because we're always up and out so early, the days just seem to go on for ages. Anyway, it's about 3 p.m. now and we're just heading over there now and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing the museum and the memorial site. Oh my goodness, guys, the views are insane. It's crazy. So cute. <laughs> You're having a good read there, Isla. <laughs> Two seconds. 
quick as that and I'll read it to you in a moment. Isla has taken a great interest in the story of 9-11 and so has Esme. Yeah. Obviously prior to this neither of them really understood what it was but because we're here we kind of felt like we needed to explain to them why we're here and basically just a little bit of history about it. And they're both so interested. It's so cute. We just had, um, a, I'm not sure what you'd call them, the guys on the street that sell magazine things. Wow. And one guy that we just saw was selling these books that we've just bought for really $20. Ones. And as Esme is saying, it's a really interesting one. They're full of like pictures and the guy himself is actually in the book. So it was really, really cool. He was showing us where we were stood and all things like that uh but oh my gosh it's crazy here it's absolutely like oh, i can't even explain how it feels it's crazy yes darling oh and there's the brand new trade center it's so tall i can't even explain the camera literally oh, it just does it no justice at all it's mind blowing. You enjoy reading that little book, Isla? Yeah, it's a very interesting day. It's a very interesting day today, isn't it? Yeah. Why <laughs> is the, um, that so long? Because that's how big the World Trade Centers were. Ah. This is a memorial from where they used to stand. Want to go have a look? Yeah. You might have to pick me up. Might have to. Wait, is that all the things that they did in the past? Wow. Wow. Oh, oh my God. Goodness! <gasps> oh, wow. It feels so surreal standing here and seeing this. It's something that I've wanted to see since for a long time now and it feels really really surreal stood here at the place where it all happened on that day like I remember exactly what was happening on that day I think pretty much everybody that was alive in September the 11th 2001 will remember what they were doing that day exactly what they were doing that day I don't think that anyone will ever be able to forget what they were doing on that day I was at home that day, I was poorly, I had tonsillitis from college and I remember being sat having lunch with my dad and watching it all unfolding on the news around 1.30 or 2pm that day and just just remember how, how scary it was that all of this was happening and how sad it was at the same time. So we've just come into the 9-11 Memorial Museum just opposite from where the towers were and as you walk in there's a picture on the wall of Lower Manhattan on the actual morning that it happened at about 8.30 a.m. the picture was taken, so about half an hour before it all happened. I think this is pretty incredible. So obviously this is where one of the planes hit. These three pieces of steel here are replicated here. It's these three. And then the actual ones are on display here. Oh my goodness. It's insane. Isabel's been a great big sister explaining everything to a very, very interested Isla. Wow guys, that was so emotional coming out like it feels like someone just punched me so hard in my chest. Like there was so much like really emotional music going around and seeing all the things, it was just really emotional. And right now I actually want to go see um, the Miracle Tree and if any of you guys don't, don't if any of you guys don't know what that is, it's basically when the Twin Towers um, suddenly fell down, all the ash and smoke covered all of the trees which then made them all die. And there was one tree which got covered in ash, but it stayed alive and it's pretty incredible. So guys, this is the tree that got covered in ash and it survived and it's still here today. Pretty incredible that. And I must say, it looks absolutely beautiful tonight. All the buildings are all lit up and it looks super beautiful.
So we just got done in the 9-11 Memorial Museum and that was, it was incredible. It was, it was such an eye-opener. Like, you know and you kind of, you know what happened on the day and you know what all the terrible things that went on through the news and through the media around the time and through also through things that you watched and read since. But the way that memorial is done in there is so incredible. It makes you so emotional and it just, it really just hits home about how insanely bad what happened on September the 11th was and how it should never ever be forgotten. So we're just outside the pool for the South Tower right now and it's breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. Now we are coming back here tomorrow to go right the way to the top of the One World Trade Center. All the way to the top. And I'm very excited about that, but I just wanted to flash it just one more time on this video because it looks absolutely breathtaking right now. So we just got back to our hotel room and I know there's been a few questions asking if we'll show you our room. So as I said right at the start of this video, we're staying at 50 NYC, which is an Affinia hotel. It's right in Midtown Manhattan. It's right near Grand Central Station, the Empire State Building and lots of other shops, restaurants are right on our doorstep. And it's walking distance to quite a lot of places. Like we walked to a Target, Macy's. It's a great like location for a hotel. So this is the room tour. Your room comes with uh, three little sloths. <laughs> just joking. They are actually just waiting there for one moment while I do you this little tour. So as you walk in, you've got this big entrance hallway, large mirror here. A really cool little thing that I love about this hotel is this cute kitchen area. So it's quite small and compact, but has literally everything you could possibly need, including an oven, kettle, coffee machine, a nice big sink, lots of storage space, a huge, well not huge, but a, I guess standardish size fridge, we've just got some supplies to put in there, and then a shelf for things like cereal and any snacks you might want. And then you come out here, it's a, not, not the tidiest, but you've got kind of a storage space here, a safe and an ironing board in here with an iron. On this side, you have a big set of drawers, lots of nice lighting. We've got two huge beds, I think these, are these queen size? I'm not sure, I think they're queen size. We've got two of those, and then this, which is a sofa bed, which is really cool. And then over here we've got a TV, a desk and things for Chris has been using to edit. And then around this corner here, we have a nice sized bathroom with a big mirror, and there you go. Obviously everything looks a lot smaller when you're filming on a camera, but it is actually a really nice sized room. So we're all just back at the hotel room. The girls just jumped out of the shower and are now enjoying a snack whilst playing with their slime as usual. Is that juicy, Isla? Is that so nice? Listen, please. Ew, the slime that the girls got yesterday has literally not been out of their hands Not since yesterday. they bought it. Yeah, it was yesterday. It was yesterday. It was yesterday. <laughs> For anyone with children who's unsure on whether they should visit the 9-11 memorial, especially if you've got young children, and you're just not sure and you don't know how to answer the questions, you've not quite explained to them the events that happened, and you don't really want to because they're sensitive and, and things like that. When we got there, we actually got given this, which is a museum guide for visitors with children. And it guides you through how to explain it to a, to a child or a sensitive child with lots of specific questions that your child might ask it gives you really clever ways to answer them and i just thought that was a really really lovely thing of the museum to do because obviously it is a sensitive subject and obviously it's quite difficult to talk through with children so i thought that was great and i thought it'd be a great tip to let you guys know who were planning a trip to the memorial museum Anyway guys, I'm about to go and jump in the shower and then read a bit of my books. I think we're going to end the vlog here. We're all just about to just chill out. I think it's about 8pm, something like that, half 7, 8. And I'll feel, actually I'm going to get a bath. 
I'm going to get a bath. I'm going to relax my legs and have a bath. Hope you've all enjoyed watching this vlog. Tomorrow we've got really, really, really exciting day planned and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 6pm. Shout goodnight, girls! Yeah.